All right, guys, so we're here at Alphalete. First of all, welcome to this video. I'm starting this video off weird. I'm starting it off with a leg day with my coach, Brandon. Um, we're gonna walk, he's gonna walk me through a leg day. Um, I'm about nine days out from my show. I don't know if you guys can tell, but your boy is getting shredded, shredded to the bone. See, when you start seeing the veins in my abs, it's like, it's game time. So we have nine days left um, in this prep. Um, it's funny, because he's getting married this weekend, and I'm looking forward to that. That'll be like the first thing that I'm looking forward to, and then I'm looking forward to my show after that. So we're about to walk like through. A, the chicken and scallop potatoes that day. Ooh. <laughs> so I've been on like uh, zero carbs for the past two days. Today I actually have a high carb day of 100 carbs, um, and it's been pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie, but these are the things that you kind of need to do to kind of separate yourself from the others on stage when it comes to these final moments. So we're gonna push through these Last couple of days, push this workout. I'm gonna go take a piss, I'm about to pee on myself, and we're gonna hop into this leg work. Yeah. Uh. Hey. Uh. I'm gonna get right in my bed. Uh. Why you gonna try to get mad? Uh. Everybody wanna keep up. Uh. Don't you know I'm too fast? Uh. I'm gonna zip zip right past. Uh. Drip drip all on my swag. Uh. Why you trying to size me up? Uh. You don't wanna try your luck. Uh. How does it stove? What did you know? Burn like coal, yeah, you know I go. Way too hot, yeah, I really too cold. I'm gonna keep going till I hit my So with leg extensions, we're gonna do something called rest pause. Um, we're only gonna do two sets, but it's gonna be a set of 15, then we're gonna take a 15 second break and then do again a set till failure, then take a 15 second break and do till failure. And the reason you do this is because, let's say you do 15 reps, right? That actual range where you're getting the most out of it is probably reps, you know, 10 through 15. So when you do a rest pause set, that you know, crucial range starts right in the first rep. And that's where you get the most growth and everything. Well, in Charlie's case, the most muscle retention. So that's the whole point. Good, good, good. One more. Pause, good. Oh, you got one more. Come on, man, one more set. Give me three to four. Get it up. One. There it is. Two. Three. Come on. Get five. Four. Come on. Five. Six. Good. Good. There it is. Fuck. <laughs> oh right my up. god. <laughs> That's, that shit's so fucking hard. <laughs> I think I got the end, sorry. <laughs> Damn. Look at the side though. Look. Go. <laughs> Your legs have never done that, I mean, it's crazy. Dude, that's it too right there, man. No. That's perfect. There, there it is. See how you're not here? Mm. You're here. No, put that back down where it was. It was actually perfect. That's exactly what you want. Because if you go too far, and now stand up a little bit, you're leaning again. See, there it is. That's gonna, but dude, you know we're gonna run through this like a thousand times with this Airbnb, so. That's the thing, I, I, know I'm, I, I know I'm gonna get it down. I do it like at least once or twice a day. Yeah. So, yeah, we were just talking about how like, usually at shows, I pull up backstage expecting them to have stuff, especially with COVID and everything this year. The last show I did, they didn't really have a lot backstage. Um, this year I'm gonna come prepare with resistance bands, dumbbells, all that shit. So, um, yeah. I don't know, every year, I know everyone says like, I wanna beat my old physique, but I feel like that's what me and Brandon have kind of been really focusing on. Last year I came in, I was good. Obviously, I was first call-outs, first national show. 
pretty impressive, whatever. But we both knew that there was an extra week or two that I could really push hard for. And we're in that week right now where I could tighten up a lot more. This I can tighten up significantly more than I did last year in, this, in these next five to seven days. Um, and really bring in a different, it's gonna be a game changing pa uh, package compared to last year. So um, I don't think I look like this, this close. I think this was like my stage yeah, no, physique. For sure, for you guys, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the thing too, right out yeah, yeah, you're also, you are bigger this year. You're, you're right around three to four pounds bigger. And at first we were, we were kind of thinking, hey, you know, but dude, he's, he's leaner than he ever has been. But I was, we, Charlie and I were talking on Monday, or no, it was uh, this past Saturday, I was like, right now everybody's in your ear telling you you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. Yeah. And a, a lot of people, that's when they pull off the gas. But I was like, dude, if you're ahead of schedule and everything's going good, why not, you know, separate yourself this week? And that's why I said, right now, when you tell people you went 214 and he's on zero carbs, but it's gonna make him look better this week. And I know it sucks. Some people don't have to do, some people, don't, oh shit, Jesus. <laughs> some people sorry some people don't have to do that and that's great but it's been what four years in a row now we've seen the changes that happens to him and this time uh to give you an idea last year we had to deplete up until two days out um and then we started you know and that made the load a little kind of cautious this time we're suffering the week before so now we can go into peak week and he, I mean, i'm not every day he's not going to front load but he's going to because that just doesn't work for him but we're gonna every other day he's gonna be having really really high carbs so it's just gonna cruise in he's gonna come and stay super full and yeah so this this week is literally like i said man i told him yeah we're gonna do you know two low carb days and a high carb day but man if we after this high carb day if things keep getting better on no carbs you're he's perfectly okay with just keep doing it you know we're gonna keep doing it and then we'll go into peak week ready so yeah just can't wait to be over we're all doing universal and like Disney World after it too, so I'm looking forward to that as well. All right, guys, so we're back from the gym. Honestly, I feel like I'm legit about to pass out. I was telling Sam that the two zero carb days that I had up until today, um, even though I'm having a high carb today, hard, high carb day today, I can't talk. Um, I won't really feel the effect of the zero, the two zero carb days until today, and today is the day that I'm feeling the effect of it. Um, this high carb day, I'll start feeling better towards the end of the day, and more so tomorrow. Um, but right now I feel like shit. Um, now that I've knocked out my leg workout, I'm doing cardio later. So I'm somehow going to have to maintain energy and stay awake and alive until cardio later. So, um, just got back from the gym and I've been experimenting with different stuff in the, fr the frozen vegetable section. And today we have some roasted garlic and Parmesan cauliflower, which kind of smells. And if you look at it with one eye closed, one eye closed, it looks like mac and cheese in it. Let me see. It kind of tastes like mac and cheese too. We got some cut up grilled chicken breast. We got a magic pop. Not just your ordinary magic pop. I showed you guys the other ones in the last video. These have chocolate drizzle on them and they're so good. It makes it 10 times better. Increases the carbs by three grams of carbs. So instead of four, it's seven grams of carbs and it's not zero fat now. It's 1.5 grams of fat. So this will be kind of like my dessert. Accompanied by this chocolate protein shake by one of the nutrition, you already know the deal. Use the boys code Shali and save up to 40% on discount. You ain't cheap, I'm on a two day week for all this rap these days, and we can still pitch the track to all the wack DJs. We're singing happy days. All right, guys, so just pulled up to uh, I have a wedding this weekend, so I'm getting my suit sized with my boy Mickey. Um, yeah, hopefully it fits because the wedding's in literally three days and my coach is getting married. So I'm going to that wedding and I want my suit to be on par, but we also don't have a lot of time to work with. So hopefully the suit fits. Hopefully the suit fits. Oh, man. You all right? Yeah, it's, it's dying right now, this diet. It's yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. You can't eat anything. Nope. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, man, like you said, we got one week left, man. Yeah, yeah. So, almost done. Yeah. In 2010, thought I was doing something. And now I'm rapping with a crew or something. I guess the track don't really stick unless he's gluing something. And I never fit the shoe until I do or something. Yo, bracing myself like teeth, boy. It's the same old route on some new concrete. See, so your seat's not, your seat's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's right here. 
Schaefer. It's right in the thigh. Is there anything? Yeah, so I need like space like right here. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. You're going down? It's ripped. Yeah, for sure. So this is the same thing that happened last time. I wore these out. I was trying to wear these at Buff Money event. And I remember I got in my car. And as soon as I sat down in my car, just ripped. So I can already tell that how stretched it is right here. One movement, it's done. I love these pants though. Love them. I love this whole suit. What would you advise I wear like as far as shoes? Uh, with that, I would do white shirt, black shoes. Black shoes. Okay. You got a pair. You got two pair. Yeah. 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 That, that looks sick. Yeah. Um, are you gonna do socks? All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like, uh, dress socks. Yeah. Okay. I would do. Uh, I would do a black dress sock. Okay. Yeah, with a white shirt. And uh, you're gonna do tie or no tie? No tie. No tie. Yeah. Yeah. How's jacket? Jacket is great. Yeah. Jacket is great. Uh, no, I haven't. I tried it on. Yeah, I tried it on the other day. Oh, okay. Just make sure. See if we're gonna go to you know to the I'm gonna go over and talk to the tailor then if there's anything we need to do on that, but I'm sure it's pretty good. Yeah, it's probably just got bigger all over. Uh, yeah. But it doesn't look it looks actually good. I mean, it looks well fitted. I mean you are a fucking bodybuilder, so um I'd like to see because Let's um, the jacket. Let's that's perfect for the wedding. But we can open that up that arm because there's we, we didn't touch the jacket. Remember the jacket came in perfect. Um, I'd like to see the stuff like drape a little bit more on your body. Um, but so after after the competition, what what is, how, I don't know really know what happens after that. Like, I'll probably gain a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely gain like at least eight to ten pounds. Yeah, yeah. You'll be able to eat actually yeah. you get shit like this because right now you're just you're lean as shit, but you're just your muscles are popping. Popping, yeah. Yeah, popping. Like yeah. Hi, good afternoon. This is Jose. May I take your order? Hey, can I get the uh, chicken and hummus box? Let me check if I have that for you. Okay, looks like I do have it. Okay, I'll do that, and then I'll do a uh, uh, grande iced coffee, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, two Splenda, no classic. Sean special. That was a grande iced coffee with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, no classic, and what else? Two Splenda. Two Splenda. Any creamer in there? No, thank you. Anything else? A bottle of water. A bottle of water, let me see if I have one for you. Okay, looks like I do. Anything else? Uh, no, thank you. I'm sorry? No, no, thank you. Thank you. Guys, I was needing like a little midday pickup. It's three o'clock and today I decided to swap out my Peloton for cardio for um, basketball. So I'm about to eat this little snack, get some nutrients in me, and then we're gonna play some pickup basketball. And that's gonna be my cardio for today. I'm excited because the Peloton, even though it is fun, it is competitive. Um, at this current state of uh, prep, being 10 days out from my show, um, it is very hard to apply that force, especially on leg day. It's, a, it's very hard to apply that force from my legs um, with little to no energy. For those of you who've never seen the greatest the world has ever revealed, I'd like to introduce myself. Let's go! I'm out here making the mad cause I got it, got it Too good at being too bad cause I got it, got it Stop reaching and being sad cause I got it, got it I just got it, got it, yeah. I just got it, got it Whoa, can I get a minute, can I get a second to introduce myself? Whoa, y'all two start like Velcro Will I fall back? Hell no, it's how they made me Yeah, drive crazy, got it baby, not a maybe Wait, my ego was bigger than that, huh? All right guys, so I'm back home from playing basketball. Honestly, my entire body is completely destroyed. Um, I have posing practice in the morning with a posing coach and I have no idea how I'm gonna wake up in time 
and get there and perform to the best of my ability. I'm gonna be drinking a lot of water. I'm gonna be drinking a lot of Gatorade Zero, but I'm gonna be implementing this into my water tonight. It has glutamine, joint support, and hydration complex. This is gonna be exactly what I need tonight to kind of uh, help myself recover uh, before tomorrow's activities. Uh, we have 99.1 ground turkey. Just finished cooking that up. And we have some, uh, I don't wanna mess this up. We have some Brussels sprouts in here. Let me turn up the ISO. We have some Brussels sprouts in here that I'm air frying. Casey introduced me to this whole air fryer thing and it has literally changed my life. Like, it just makes your veggies taste like you're eating them at a restaurant as opposed to eating them at home, which can help a lot when you're on prep. We also got the CBD joint that I rolled up last night. Couldn't finish it. Um, the way you can tell a CBD joint is extremely strong is when you're smoking it and you start feeling extremely tired and sleepy and you kind of feel like you can just not pass out in a bad way, but pass out in like a sleeping way, like at any moment. And um, that's kind of what happened yesterday when I was smoking this, this strand. I think it's called White Widow. Um, it's funny because they have the same THC uh, strand names because obviously it's derived from THC, but um, yeah. I'm about to go smoke the rest of this White Widow. Probably watch a documentary. So I've been watching documentaries to kind of keep myself occupied throughout prep. And uh, telling me to turn my food, hold on. <laughs> I almost wasn't gonna do it, but I would've hated myself if I didn't do it. So I just usually just shake it all up. It already looks 10 times better than just plain old Brussels sprouts like the microwave or some shit. But anyways, but yeah, I've been watching documentaries to kind of keep me occupied on this prep. And I started a documentary the other day and finished it on India. And I started a documentary, yes, last night on Cuba. It's pretty interesting. And I'm gonna finish it tonight. Maybe I'll let you guys know what I think about it in the next one. Cuba is actually a very interesting place to learn about. We got the Christmas tree up, ready to go. I know we're still in November, but I'm a huge Christmas fanatic. So is Myla, so is King, and um, we're excited about this. Even though we still have the fall decorations up, we're excited about this. But anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. I love you guys so much. Um, leave to Florida on Wednesday. Hopefully I can get another vlog up before then. Um, my show is next weekend. I have a wedding this weekend. Um, prepping for another big, I won't even talk about that, but anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Uh. Said I feel brand new. Feel brand new. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wound up in the me step up. I've been waiting all day. Eh, eh.